Hi, Yarnabees. Hi, Yarnabees. It's Crochet A and Crochet B. So we're out for a walk and I thought that I would show you our harbor, which is only like a couple blocks from this our house. This is our house. front yard. So. In front see. of our palatial ocean front estate. So here, I'll show you. This is a park that we all walk at. Where we dragon boat race at. Yeah, too. and this is where we dragon boat race which actually was probably supposed to be last weekend. This is actually where the finish line is. Yeah. So then we have our seaplanes and our, over here that is the search and rescue, isn't it? Coast Guard. Yeah, the Coast Guard boat. And then the blue and white boat, that's our boat. Yeah, right. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> so yeah, it's, uh, really pretty and then there's you know Bailey of course Bailey say hi <laughs> so yeah this is this is it it's really pretty out here definitely you get to see all the sea life no not yet it's like our water I don't know can you see that yeah our water is sort of clear you can kind of see in it. So yeah. How would you guys like that boat? <laughs> or maybe that one's not big enough. Maybe how about that one? Or how about this nice sailboat? <laughs> oh, to dream. I would take that sailboat right there. Yeah. We happen to know a Yarny sister that lives on a sailboat. Ah. Yeah. Okay, so the funniest thing just happened. <laughs> We're walking along the seawall. Yeah, George and I are sitting here walking along the seawall. And all of a sudden this lady says, Do you guys live in Kelowna? <laughs> That's like five hours away from us. The interior of British Columbia. Yeah. And uh, we're like, no. But we've dragon boated there before. And she says, That's where I've seen you guys before. And I thought, she doesn't look like she's a dragon boater. We but, were in Kelowna uh, for the, uh, the the BC Senior Games last last summer. Yeah. In September. Yeah, it was last year, and that was the first and only time that we've actually been in Kelowna for for that. Because the other race is in Penticton, the one that we go to more often, which is yeah about half an hour from Kelowna. Yeah. So I think it's really kind of funny how. <laughs> We're international dragon boat <laughs> stars. People know us wherever we go. Yeah. Well, Famous the world over. Well, I mean, you can you can understand that George would be recognized because of his demeanor. <laughs> and his massive body. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> People accuse me of paddling with my legs, but it's really my arms sticking out of my sleeves. Yeah, all right. So anyway, so we thought that was kind of funny. It was, uh, We've got local talent here. <laughs> See that all over the seawall. So yeah, so that was kind of fun. 
In case you're feeling adventurous, you can zip line across the pond. The zip line starts around here somewhere. And you can go all the way it all across the, way over the, lagoon. the lagoon, which is way over here. So the zip line comes through here and goes way over there. Oop, sorry guys. Yeah, it goes way over there. And this lagoon is where the silly boat races every year. So we have a thing at the weekend after the dragon yeah. boat races. We have another festival called Silly Boats where all these different companies and corporations, the idea is you have to assemble your boat on site so that you make them out of milk cartons, styrofoam, anything like that. You build your, you have four hours to build your boat and then, and basically you can only power it by paddling or pedaling, it's human powered. Yeah. And then they have several heats, you carry your boat down and you have a race around the boy and back and they have prizes for the first one to sink, uh, the silliest boat, and then whoever actually wins the, the competition, the winners advance, the losers go home kind of thing. And yeah, George went in it once, it was hilarious. Well, several times he was shot. The, since you've been with me. Yeah. And uh, it was hilarious because he was the only one that knew how to paddle. So if it wasn't for George, they'd be going in circles. Well, we were going in circles. <laughs> well, yeah, you kind of were going in circles. It was just, it was so funny. If I can find pictures, I'll, I'll put them in here. And we dressed up like, uh, what was it? The, uh, oh, the animals the... from Madagascar. No, no, no. Yeah, not, we did the one not year. Not when you were with me. That oh. was Gilligan's Island. Oh, right. Yeah. So actually, I do have a picture of him in his Gilligan outfit. I'll post that. And uh, Sandy was ginger. I, yeah, I was ginger, all right. <laughs> yeah, the only part of me that was ginger is my boobs. <laughs> it's the only part we look at. <laughs> Hello, Crochet B here, Tourism Nanaimo. <laughs> so over across the bay here, this is the bay where we regularly dragon boat race or we can take our kayak out and paddle. There's always people paddling. Uh, the yacht club and the docks are down this way. And over here, is Protection Island, which a lot of people live on. Some people have summer homes or people live there year round. It's only accessible by boat or by a, a small foot ferry that you can go on. The building with the blue awning is actually a pub called the Dinghy Dock. It's actually floating. So it's quite frequent that dragon boat teams, at least once or twice during the season, will actually have a practice at the end of which they'll paddle over to the Dinghy Dock pub to have something to eat and a drink or two before they paddle home. Or if you're just out kayaking, a lot of people will paddle over to the pub and have lunch and a beer and then come home. And if you don't have a boat, you just walk down to the foot ferry and you can jump on and it anchors right at the pub and you can get out and go for lunch and whatever. So it's a very popular tourist place and a lot of the locals uh, know about the dinghy dock as well. It's just one of the places that's kind of cool uh, shortly around this horrible place that we live called Nanaimo. So, Talk about the crab. Oh, and then this dock over here is actually a, a public dock where you can catch Dungeness crab. So you, anybody just, you have to get a fishing license, you buy a crab trap and you can throw it off the dock and tie it up to the dock and wait for 20 minutes or so and haul it up. And if you're lucky, you'll have, uh, have some crabs. So they're kind of year round. The dock is open year round. Um, the fishing tends to be better actually in the winter than in the summer, but more people try in the summer. And a lot of times it depends on if the tide is in or out, um, how lucky you are. But we've caught in the past, I have a crab trap and we've caught crab there that we've taken home and eaten. So there's not very many places in the world that you can, within walking distance, walk to a dock and throw your crab trap out and catch your crab dinner. So it's pretty nice also. Uh, there's a little salmon run here for pink salmon as well, and you can catch them right from the shore. A two to four pound pink salmon, so we're pretty lucky here. We've got all the conveniences of a big city, but we also have your catch your own seafood, literally right at your doorstep. Uh, a little further up island, there's places you can walk onto the rocks, and there's oysters everywhere. You can use a claw hammer and, and take oysters off the rocks and take them home and eat it as well. So don't tell anybody else and don't come here because we're full. We're not taking any more people here on Vancouver Island but you're, to live, but you're welcome to visit. So 
this friendly little fellow is a picture of the very, very long time mayor of Nanaimo. His name is Frank Ney. And he was famous because Nanaimo is most famous for the world championship bathtub races. People used to race motorized bathtubs from Nanaimo to Vancouver. Um, and then it is open ocean, so it gets pretty rough. We've had a number of them sink. So now uh, for safety, they basically just go up to Nanaimo and around Nanus and back again. He would always dress as a pirate to promote the races. And he became the character of uh, Bla Black, um, the pirate Black Frank Ney. So he was probably the most um, enthusiastic supporter of our city and integral in helping our city grow and promoting the tourism of Nanaimo. So to honor him, they placed a statue of him down at a place where he enjoyed um, a great amount of his time down here at Swayalana Lagoon. So this uh, little green boat here is a ferry that goes to Newcastle Island. So just off our harbor, we have Protection Island where the pub is. And this is inhabited, people own private homes and lots on this island. And then right beside it is Newcastle Island. And Newcastle is actually a park. Uh, and it's actually owned, um, owned and managed by the local native band. So there's no private houses anywhere on Newcastle, but it's a park. So quite often people will catch this ferry and walk to New and uh, go to Newcastle Island. There's a trail that goes all the way around that you can walk or run or hike. Um, there's a place for picnicking. There's um, different stops along the way with uh, uh, nature trails and uh, interpretation stuff. Oh, oh. <laughs> An integral part of, uh, of our local band are in charge of managing Newcastle Island. So it's pretty cool that on the one hand you have a place where people actually live and have their home. Um, and, and actually own their own lots. And then over here we have a, a larger island. It's actually just private park that anybody can anybody can access and anybody can enjoy here in Nanaimo. So this area here is when we're doing our Nanaimo Dragon Boat Festival. This is where our paddlers village usually is. It's always full of tents where all the paddlers stay. And it's fenced. And then over here pavilion. this is the pavilion. This this has been used for um, orchestras and whatnot and free concerts, but this is usually where we do our exercises before we paddle. So it's a really nice area, you know, and then we've got the ocean that we can look at. And usually we look over here to see what the weather's doing to see how far the tide's out and everything because Usually we get lane one, which is like right close to the shore, and we do really bad. <laughs> so, the lane of death. Yeah, it's like, oh, it's terrible. <laughs> I think Bailey's pooped. <laughs> Did you have enough already? Bailey, you all done? Yeah, let's go back to the van. She's like, no, I don't want to go. <laughs> She's like, it's nice and cool here. <laughs> Just a man and his dog even though it's my dog, but. <laughs> so this is BC Ferries. This is what you guys have been hearing all the time. We thought we'd kind of tour down here and show you guys what all the hubbub's about. <laughs> so this is where you line up over here. If you're actually boarding the ferry, these are the ticket booths here that you go through. We're in the uh, foot passenger pickup so we're able to just come in and out here without disrupting. Uh, so these are people here in this line are waiting to get on the next ferry that will be sailing. There are currently two ferries parked at the terminal. There they are. Which, <laughs> unfortunately are hidden by the, the building. That's okay, I'll get out and go over there. We have a ferry that's leaving right now. And here is another ferry. This is actually one of the smaller ferries. The bigger ferry, whoops, hang on. What? No. <clears throat> so that's a smaller ferry. 
the bigger ferries on the other side and they leave here and they go out there and they go around see that ferry's already gone and they go out and around through those two islands and then out to go to Vancouver so yeah and we are half a block from our house so that's why you always hear the the um, the horns and the announcements and everything is because it's like just right up the street from us so I'll show you